everyone, this is Lolly. I want to apologize in advance for all the noise, but everyone's home, and so that is what's happening. So, um, so I want to show you what I've been making, and we're going to do a few different, or a couple different versions of this. One is this little flip thing that is like a pa page or a bookmark here, but it's stapled to the page, and it's reversible. And this one is the same thing, but it's in a book, oh, excuse me, it's in a paper clip. I didn't realize it was stuck on there. And it is also reversible, so I can put it on the page this side, or I can put it on the page this side. Okay, and so what I am using are these, which are, they're coin flips, but they are vinyl instead of the cardboard ones that I did use in my most recent paper clip video. So this is what a coin flip is cardboard with mylar on it and these ones are just pure vinyl I will give you the link below to where I got these on eBay I'm going to fold that in half and give it a good score helps me to helps it to work well so there's so many possibilities about this now what I'm doing is I'm cutting squares of decorative cardstock into uh, one and five eighths inch squares you can do one and a half, but one and five eighths fills it a little better. And I'm using paper from Bow Bunny. It's one of their older pads, Charmed collection. Okay, so if you have a design, for instance, this one, which is you want it to be vertical, you need to put it in this way and this way if you want it to come down off a paper clip or off of the top of your page. If you want it to go this way on your page, orient your car, your papers this way and this way. So it's all about how the direction you want it to be. Let's assume that I'm going to staple this on a page. So I would put them in that way. I have already distressed the edges and I can add some words maybe with this Tim Holtz thing here. I'm going to say, and I am distressing with the walnut stain and this one is going to I want to protect my little fairies I'm going to say into into dreams again I'm trying to protect my fairies there into dreams okay I don't want to put any embellishments on top of this because I want it to be flat in my work I have another one here and I like the artist. Creating, artist creating. Now, all we need to do for top loading is get those in the tops. Make sure they're oriented the right way. And then lay them over the top of a page such as this and staple it in place that's all I need to do but if you would rather this be magnetic like this one here this one's magnetic so it's not stapled in place I tried magnetic sheets or magnetic um, a coil of magnet and it wasn't strong enough to go through this vinyl so what I'm doing, let's pull this back out. This isn't quite very pretty, but it gets the job done. I'm just going to mark on the back where to the center is by doing a little cross about the middle here. Sorry for the paint here. I'm still cleaning and painting my craft room. Okay. Now I have those two centers, and I want to use um, a washer on one and one of those super strong magnets on the other. I'm using a bigger one here. Okay. And some permanent glue. So I'm going to glue this, and I'm going to let it set for 20 minutes before I even mess with it. I'm going to use the power tack. little bit around there and one right tiny one there 
Now I put a bigger circle of glue here because I knew this was going to go down and I'm just making sure that my hash marks are right in the center and put that over there. I'm going to let it set for 20 minutes. Okay, that's ready to go in. So I'm going to orient this the right way. Now, it's already bulky, so I didn't want to add another layer of cardstock. If this bothers you, that look, you can just add another layer of cardstock, but then it also decreases the ability of the magnets to close together. You know? Okay. So, this one's not in there, kind of straight. Alrighty, so, now we have that. and it's magnetized and it's a really good fit too I mean the magnets real the magnet really works on that okay the other one is the paper clip so I have these two pieces here let's grab another one and so with these I want to put the words on top of one of them let's use discover the reason I want it at the top is because the sequins, Discover Treasure, the sequins will uh, basically stay to the bottom and that way we can still see our words. Discover Treasure. I'm going to overlap that a teensy little bit. And so this time, I'm going to put this in the back one on the inside. Now I could do it the other way. I could put them this way and this way and staple it over a paper clip. But this time I want to do a shaker. So I'm putting that one in here. My sequins are going to go in here and I have these really pretty ones from Dress My Craft and they are the Copper Mix. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. Put some in here. I did shake up the jar. It kind of helps to shake that up first to get all the the mix equal in there and you don't want to overload this I'm going to take this in my sewing machine and sew it straight across there but if you don't uh, sew another thing you can do is to take now this is too wide but if you take the really narrow double-sided tape peel off one uh, end, one side, and lay it in here. Then you can peel off the other end and shut it. But I don't have the, I'm gonna sew mine. Okay, and I wanna give kudos to a couple of my friends because when I first started sharing that I had bought these and was playing with them, these coin flips, um, Karen had suggested shakers and Terry had suggested the magnetic one. And so I've been playing around there. Now you can see the sequins. You can see the words in the back. So what you need is a paper clip and it needs to be wide enough for this to go over. And basically this is kind of between paper clip sizes. So I'm finding that, oops, this is a three inch clip. So I'm going to have it go into my work this way. So I'm making the solid or unbroken link on the bottom. Put that down over that and staple it in place. Okay, I'm going to staple it at the top like where the stitch line is. Okay, now because I have this really big paper clip, I have room here to put charms and that is what's so fun. Um, so you can see on this one that I dangled these little charms here. Oops, these charms here. Okay, so let me get my charm box out. Okay, and I'm going to get, think, 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 I'm going to get a, kind of these kind of bronze colored, uh, I'm going to get a bronze colored garment pin. I think I'm going to, I want to add a little bit of color. I'm trying to think here. I don't want it really, really bright though. That's another thing. I can go with this. Adds a little bit of color, but not, you know, it's not distracting. Ooh, and here's another one. I've been, uh, every time I find little doodads around my 
craft area, I've been putting them in um, my charm box. This little angel was in there. There, this will be cute. So all I need to do is open that garment pin through both of those and then onto the paper clip. Like that. Okay, and the other thing is, if you want this to be bulky, or you don't mind it being bulky, you can put something right on the front of this. And I did that before. And these are little gemstones that kind of came with the paper collection. Not came with it, but they work with it. And so... And I don't want to go down because I don't want to cover up that, but I could use a really tiny one. Okay, isn't that pretty? And so that could also work in here. So all I do for this, for my charm, there. So all I do for this, for the charm, is I just make sure I don't push the paper clip all the way in. I just leave it sticking out a little bit for my charms to hang off. And my gourd keeps wanting to spin around there. There, there. I like the fat end of the, the, the garment pin to hang down. So this would also work the same way, very cute. So two styles of paper clip. One is the, the shaker and one is, is just double-sided. This one could also have a really cute charm on there. Let's do that while we have my charm box out. Let's give this a really cute charm. So let's go with a really bright colored, let's grab this pink here. We'll get a pink garment pin. And would that be too long? That's really a statement piece, isn't it? Another thing you can do, like you could just spin this without using a gar garment pin. I could have just threaded this through so it's on the end. I could still do it this way by threading it through here. See, and now that's fine. It doesn't even need a garment pin. Unless I want to add one more dimension. How about that, it says kisses. That's really cute. How cute is that? See, at the last minute we just decorated that and made that all cute. All right, thank you for watching. Look at the links down below and you have a healthy day.